Hey yo, what is up guys? It's Sam back on the channel here. Listen, hey, today's video, um, I can give you guys a quick story time to be fair. I've just thought of that now, like literally just on the spot. I didn't originally plan for this to be somewhat of a story time, but I just feel like it's needed. I feel like that's almost needed on the screen right now. Just a little story to break you guys into this little topic I've got going on right now. First video of this weekend, um, went on a hike this morning, which is very, very, very relevant to the topic at hand. Um, and no, the script wasn't planned. Yeah, the raps are still coming, guys. I don't know why, because um, I'm a white boy from a good family. I don't know why I'm out here rapping and doing these bad things. I'm joking. Rapping is a great, great, great thing. It should be praised. Anyway, enough of the jibber-jabber. Enough of uh, me just playing strange character, which I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so basically, today's video is about sort of healing. Um, I feel like resting in between at least like training and stuff like that is extremely important. Um, I've made videos a lot in the past sort of speaking about vices. Um, I feel like one vice that, well, the, the main vice that you should pursue, which is like the re the rest that you should get, should fall along the lines of sort of nature walks, meditation, and sleeping. If you can get your life to a point where they are your vices rather than smoking, drinking, um, overuse of sex, jerking off, gaming, if you can get to a point where you've got the god tier vices of chilling out, meditating, nature walks, and sleeping. I feel like, to be fair, I don't really feel like you could even class them as vices, but if you get to a point where you can sort of, where, you know, your your routine is, is so amazing that you actually consider those vices, and you're okay with that, you don't get burnt out from doing that X, well, X routine, sorry, you don't get burnt out from doing X routine, um, but you can still use meditation, nature walks, and sleep as vices, God tier, that's all I'm saying, a good routine that would be, um, but yeah, so obviously that's sort of speaking a little bit on resting, but I feel like nature is probably the best place to rest, and I feel like anything you do in nature, because because you're breathing in that sort of pure, what is it, C2, I don't even know, I don't know nothing about science, I'll be real, I was about to say CO2 or C2, I, I know it's CO2, so please, please, please don't correct me in the comments, because I'm going to feel like a muppet if I got it wrong. It's, it's too late right now, guys. I'm really tired. So the letters and combinations just aren't making sense. Um, I'm just on YouTube trying to get the pens. I need to stop. But uh, yeah, so pretty much. When you go in nature, because you're getting that sort of good air in your body, that's healing your body no matter what you are doing. Even if you were kind of training in nature, which is something that I preach that you probably should do, um, even in the colder months, I suppose it is a lot harder, especially if it's a sort of like wet mud on the ground, stuff like that. But in summer, I feel like it's an amazing, amazing time to train in, in well, in nature. Um, I feel like in summer, I want to make some videos. I do have some gymnastics rings. Uh, I might get back into that and start going in nature, sort of hanging them off the trees organically, um, trying to not harm the branches. And just doing some more stuff with the gymnastics rings. I'm moving houses um, in a few months, I believe. Um, so family house by the way I'm not moving out myself it's so that, that my family is moving to another area and it's a lot more rural um, basically the sticks is where I'm moving out to and um, I'm going to do some more vlogs out there and stuff like that so maybe some more sort of nature vlogs uh, biking climbing trees meditation in the woods gymnastics rings canoeing even i've heard there's like a river there where you can do canoeing maybe some like flips and stuff on the, the grass it's just it's just going to be just enhanced you can almost call it to this area where i live in now but yeah so my original point let me not sort of stray away from the original point too too much is that when you're in nature you're healing you know no matter what you're doing because you're breathing in that air that pure air from the trees around you and then uh, just the nature as a whole around you and you know because because you're around nature and it's more natural it's not you know how can you put it fake as you can say i mean obviously the, the stuff that's around us these days is mainly man-made so i feel like it's better to get back to our roots where we actually came from 
and where we should be. Just pure nature. But this story time anyway, guys. Basically what happened, um, recently I had my wisdom tooth growing through on this side. And because I was at MMA like a few weeks ago, like I haven't been in a few weeks because of the pain that I've had in my um, mouth, my mouth, sorry, from um, the, the wisdom tooth growing through. So what happened? I was wearing my gum shield on one Monday and I think I bit down too hard and it must have cut the back of my mouth where the wisdom tooth was going through because it became infected and it was flipping hard for me to eat. So I had to go to the, first go to the doctors. Doctors are useless. So they basically just said, oh, you're going to have to see a dentist. Went to the dentist and they ripped up all my mouth and shit. Fair enough, it's healed, but I feel like every time I've ever been sick or ill, I've always just got in nature and everything's been fine. Like the next day I'll be healed. So say for example, I'll have an illness, um, sort of like coughing, um, throwing up, sneezing, all that sort of stuff. And I'll go into nature and the next day I'll be fine because nature is the best of healers. Now, I don't know the exact title that I'm going to call this word for word, but I know it's going to be something along the lines of nature heals all. Because if you are sick, if you have any kind of sickness, the best thing to do is to get back in nature. And I'm not talking about the local park where there's still fumes coming in from cars and local businesses and shit like that. I'm talking about pure, pure forest nature. Away from roads, away from businesses, away from everything like that. Go down the back. That's someone flushing the toilet. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why I decided to do that while I was making a video. Words are going to be half to have been had after this video. That's all I'm going to say. But um, anyway, yeah, so anytime I've ever been sick, I've always got in nature and it's always fixed it. I remember when I fucked my leg up, I, um, I was messing around doing some stupid shit and I dislocated my knee. It actually spun around the back of my leg. Remember the day after I did that, I was on crutches and I still went out to nature and flipping grounded myself, just stuck in nature, went on a little walk, even with my crutches, spoke to a few people, just got out there, man, and just enjoyed the air. And I mean, in, in this nature spot that I go to, it's actually near my house, um, sort of in some woods. The air in there is so pure. And I mean, I've, I've only took a couple of people there who are like close to me and stuff like that in the past. But my, if my girlfriend watches this, she'll know exactly what I'm talking about because I've taken there myself. And um, the air in there is extremely pure. And he, we both noticed it as well. I think I even, be, like, I think even, don't quote me on this, I think I might have told her, but before I ever took her to that, like, sort of woods next to a local park, the local park's not really near any roads or anything. It's just like a field. And then you've got the woods next to it. But the woods is like, if you go deep in the woods, the air is like so purified and i don't think i actually told her how the air was before i took her there and i remember i remember her just saying like the air in here is like really nice um but yeah that's like the type of thing i'm talking about so say for example you have some kind of illness or something like that nature heals all man nature heals all think about it a lot of remedies and stuff like that come from nature everything at some point has spawned or rooted from nature because everything has come from, you know, where, where we originally came from, nature. And then we started making this man-made matrix. Eh, well, look at the world now. Yeah? Get back to nature and heal, you bitch. Peace.